A person pushes a lawnmower with a force of 42 pounds. The handle of the lawnmower is 38 degrees above the horizontal. So if this is the lawnmower handle, we know this angle here is 38 degrees. We're asked to determine how much downward force and horizontal force is being exerted. We can represent the force being applied to the lawnmower as a vector, where because the force is 42 pounds, the magnitude of the vector is 42 pounds, and we assume the vector is being applied in the direction of the handle, and therefore the force vector would look something like this where again, because the force is 42 pounds, we know the magnitude of this vector, we'll call it vector V, is 42, which represents the length of the vector. In order to determine the downward and horizontal force though, we need to find the horizontal or X component as well as the vertical or Y component of this vector. To do this, let's graph the same vector so the initial point, this point here, is at the origin. So this vector, is equivalent to this vector here. Where again we know the magnitude of the vector is 42. Now the direction of the vector is not 38 degrees. Remember the direction of a vector is measured from the positive x-axis and therefore this angle here is the direction which we often call angle theta which is 180 degrees plus 38 degrees or 218 degrees. So the angle theta the direction of the vector is 218 degrees. In order to determine the downward force and horizontal force, we now need to find the x and y components of the vector, where this would be the horizontal component of the vector, and this would be the vertical or y component of the vector. The horizontal component will give us the horizontal force, and the vertical component will give us the downward force. From here, remember, if a vector makes an angle theta with the positive x-axis, then the x or horizontal component is equal to the magnitude of the vector times cosine theta, and the y component or vertical component is equal to the magnitude of the vector times sine theta. Which means for our vector v, the force vector, the x component is equal to 42 times cosine 218 degrees, and the y component is equal to 42 times the sine of 218 degrees. And now we'll go to the calculator and get decimal approximations for these components. And we will round to two decimal places. First, let's make sure the calculator is in degree mode. We press mode, and notice how the calculator is in degree mode because degree is highlighted. So we go back to the home screen, and we enter 42 cosine 218 degrees, enter. Rounding to the second decimal place, because we have a six in the third decimal place, we round up, and because we have a nine in the second decimal place, to the hundredths place value, this rounds to negative 33.10. And now for the y component, we enter 42 sine 218 degrees, because we have a seven in the third decimal place, this rounds to negative 25.86. The x or horizontal component of negative 33.10 indicates a force in the direction of left horizontally of approximately 33.10 pounds. So the horizontal force being exerted is approximately 33.10 pounds. We don't include the sign. And because the y component, or vertical component, is approximately negative 25.86, this indicates a force in the direction of downward of approximately 25.86 pounds. So the downward force is approximately 25.86 pounds. I hope you found this helpful.